In this lesson, you'll learn how to type in Pinyin for Windows 10. So all you have to do is go to your Start button. In the bottom left, click on Settings. And once you're in Settings, look for Time and Language. Select that, and then Region and Language. And there you'll see a plus, and that's how you add another keyboard. So just click on that. And you can either search by typing or just scrolling and just find Chinese Simplified. Select that and then pick the one for China. You may be wondering why we chose the simplified character keyboard rather than traditional. And that's because that's most commonly used in mainland China. And it's also easier to learn because it's got fewer strokes. While the traditional keyboard is typically used in Taiwan. And now you have your keyboard. So you can just exit out of settings and to use it, on the right bottom corner, just click Chinese Simplified, and now you're in that keyboard. And that's how you also change back to English. Let's just practice some typing. So for example, Ni Hao, go ahead and type out the whole word with no spaces. And you may notice that the computer automatically adds an apostrophe between the words, for example, Ni and Hao. This is normal, and you don't have to add that apostrophe yourself. You'll see the character list appear, and at this point, it'll be helpful for you to be able to recognize basic characters. The nice thing about the character list is it does show characters in order of how frequently they are used. So in order to select those characters, you can just press the number one on your keyboard or you can click on the character directly. And now let's try another one. Let's do Han Yu and just press one or you can also click on it with your mouse. And now you have Han Yu. Knowing how to spell things in pinyin is incredibly important, especially in cases where you do have to use the yu umlaut. For example, for the word nu shi, which means miss, if you just type in n-u-s-h-i, you don't get the correct characters to, to write out miss. So what we do instead of that is type the v. The letter v automatically changes to yu umlaut. So if you type in nu shi with the v, you get the character. So just to show you again, if you actually type NU, you get this set of characters. And if you type NV, you get another set. So this is an incredibly useful rule to know. The only time this rule doesn't apply is for the letters J, Q, X, and Y, because those letters will never be followed by a U with an umlaut. So now that you've got your keyboard all set up and ready to go, and you know the typing tricks, go forth and type your hearts out in pinyin. Thanks for watching. Do you like our video? Did you learn anything fun? Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest video updates. And be sure to leave your comments below. If you feel like you've learned something from this video, one of the best ways to practice is to go into the Mango course to form new sentences and new thoughts. Click the link on your screen to try it out.